So the idea of this next post is to um, really work on generating ideas and images from a single Bible verse. Um, so you get a, a single verse where there's an obvious image. So for example, um, a verse like, um, unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labour in vain. Well, they obviously straight away have an image of a house. Um, whereas if you take a verse like, um, be still and know that I'm good, um, that's a little bit more tricky. Um, there's not an obvious image there. It's more about the mood, what for you makes you think about being still, or quietness, calmness. I thought we'd take um, a verse that I've illustrated um, and I would talk you through um, maybe how I came to the idea I came to um, and um, that would help you then go forward and, and do the same process yourself. So um, the example I'm going to use is a verse from 1 John, 1 John chapter 3 verse 1, um, which says, um, How great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. Um, now, the first thing I would say is maybe um, think about what is the verse saying? What is the mood of the verse? And when you're trying to think of a picture to go with it. And with this one, it's the opening verse to a chapter. It's got an exclamation mark at the end. It's um, a big statement. Um, it's, it's talking about the extravagant love of God, um, our undeservedness, um, but the but how, how amazing um, that he should love us enough to call us his children. Um, so it's, 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 um, it's, it's joyful, it's upbeat, it's positive, it's enthusiastic. Um, and all those words start to make you think of colour, um, of celebration. Um, and that starts to help you um, think about images in your mind. My next suggestion is to write the verse down. So um, if you just get a, a piece of paper, plain piece of paper, and, and write the verse right in the middle of the piece of paper. Um, and then maybe um, underline uh, the key words in the verse. So if we look at this verse, um, I would underline um, great, how great is the love, how great is the love. So talking about magnitude and size. Um, and then love. Um, the Father has lavished on us. So maybe Father uh, lavished on us that we should be called and then maybe children of God. Um, so these are some key words to have a think about in the verse. Um, the word that stands out to me in this verse or sort of helps encapsulate the feel is lavished. Um, and that's the one that we are going to just look at for a second. So when we think of lavished and when you're sort of experimenting with verses, it just draw lines and scribble as you want to, but I'm just going to draw a line from lavished and then write a list of words that come to mind when I think of lavished, like um, other words, uh, extravagance, um, richness, lush, um, beyond expectation, um, great quantity, uh, abundance, uh, splendour, um, then, you know, um, undeserved. So uh, when we think of things, when we get something that's so special that we didn't expect, like treats, um, gifts. And now we're going to look at all of those words and start to think what images come to mind when we think of um um, being being treated, being uh, you know ha having things um, given to us that we didn't ever expect, and um, um, so um, I automatically start to think about food. Um, it's a way that I try to uh, you know um, give and uh, treat my children. So I, I it automatically springs to my mind. But so therefore I think of um, a rich food and you know, ice cream and not just ice cream maybe like splendid ice creams ice creams in uh, amazing 
cups or um, you know uh, cones with flakes and sprinkles. I think about uh, incredible cakes in layers and with amazing decorations. Um, I think of um, maybe fine dining uh, or, or a banquet table, a feast, maybe um, a cream tea. Um, but then you could also think of things that aren't food, so maybe jewellery, um, uh, beautiful necklaces, rings, um, brooches, uh, maybe gold, uh, silver, precious metals, precious stones. Um, what other images come to mind? Um, so um, a decor, uh, a, a room that's beautifully decorated, um, uh, or preparation for a party. Uh, and so then that's the point at which you can start sketching some of the things that come to mind. You know, is it a big pile of presents beautifully wrapped or is it um, an ice cream sundae? Um, maybe, um, uh, you know, a, a, a beautiful, a beautiful necklace uh, uh, or I, I don't know. That, that's, that's, where we, that's where we start, our imaginations start to come alive um, and where we can start to sketch ideas and thoughts down. So I'm going to just briefly show you a picture that, that, that I came up with after that um, process based on that same verse. So this, is the, this is the picture that I designed based on how great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called children of God. And it's a cake stand um, for a, um, a tea party, you know, an afternoon tea uh, with lots of exciting and extravagant looking um, cakes on it. Um, and that was just that was just one idea, but there are so many different ways of um, coming up with um, uh, an image that fits that verse. Um, and the idea with this task isn't necessarily to come up with a final image like I have there. It's just um, to explore different thoughts and ideas based on a single verse. So I'm gonna I'm gonna suggest a few verses on the on the blog post which you'll be able to read, um, and. You can use those verses that I've suggested or just find verses yourself and maybe go through the same exercise of thinking about the mood, thinking about the words that associate with it and then thinking of images that spring to mind from those words and sketching out different ideas from them. Um, I hope you find that a, a fun um, task to do and I hope you get something out of reading the, the words as well and thinking about them. Um, yeah, I'd love to hear, love to hear what you come up with.